Okay. Well, welcome uh, to Tatum. We just did an introduction round, so that's all uh, all set. Uh, we did together. Um, we already did an introduction for uh, gathering open science uh, hardware, and um, I'm going to start off with uh, talking a bit about what what Tatum is, what we do, and um, and then uh, I will be followed up. So. Um, um, uh, Tatum is a, a, a digital. Uh, it's an uh, it's a media. Um, pl we're a media platform, and um, for digital culture. So on the one hand, we uh, are like a cultural organization, and we help um, artists and makers to um, develop their uh, own skills, like in making in the art artistic skills, but also like in their skills of how to use technology for your artistic work. And on the other hand, we think it's very important to make um, uh, like the technologies and make labs accessible to everyone in the whole region, from children until people who are older, everyone who wants to learn something about how to work with uh, those kind of uh, technologies should be able to do that. And we focus on the whole region of, of Twente. And we have like different strategies, different activities, different places, uh, how we want to uh, fulfill that mission. Well, we will uh, visit the uh, Fab Lab um, later today. So we have a Fab Lab. It's, uh, we, uh, the lab is open on uh, working days through the whole week. Um, and uh, for um, uh, like professional artists, professional makers, uh, but also like enthusiastic amateurs like me. Um, and we have like a, a lot of uh, high-end um, uh, uh, technology in the lab that you can use. And there's always a coach uh, available who can coach you to help uh, uh, um, experiment with those new technologies. And that's where we also uh, work together with a lot of uh, artists and makers. For example, we have the Nexus Week, and that's really, it's a week that is completely focused on the development uh, and artistic development of, uh, of makers. So for example, Katharina and uh, Dr. Yu Zhang um, were here a few weeks ago and they had like a week where they uh, tested out new uh, technologies, they were helped, they were, and they, at the end of the week, they, they actually made like a few steps in their progress. And we also have a program that's more, a bit more into depth and a bit longer, which is caustic. And it also always works towards um, like a presentation point. So we have two festivals in the year. That's the Maker Festival Twente and the Syndicate Twente. And um, right now, uh, Jona is working on an interactive game where children, uh, you're like, you, I am blue, my neighbor is green, and you have to mix, and then you get a new color, and you have to really work together. So he has developed that game here, and he will show that at Cinekit uh, later this year. And the same is for Avatopia uh, by Rose Groothuizen. She already finished, and um, this installation went through all of Twente, so uh, it was placed in all the municipalities. And this really helps artists like, um, uh, experiment with new technologies, but also like making a final product and getting it accessible to the whole region. And we also focus on, uh, on like a weekend uh, activities. So we have a Mark May Lab, which is also, uh, uh, and the Instab workshops, which are also uh, taking place here. And it's um, for children from the age of four or six or eight. But of course, adults can also join in because you're never too old to learn. Um, and um, it's usually based, um, uh, you sign up for a specific uh, um, workshop. For example, April was coding month, and then you sign up for programming a robot, or May was making month, and then you sign up for uh, the uh, chocolate printer, 3D printer. And uh, then you really get to learn like, okay, uh, what kind of um, uh, uh, technologies, how does this work, and you specifically learn how it uh, works. And then we also, what I already told you, we also want to think it's very important to not only get it here, because in like in a lot of bigger cities in the Netherlands, there are, all, are already labs, there are open access where you can yeah, uh, use basic uh, equipment like 3D printers that are open accessible. And we really uh, wanted to bring it into the region, also to like smaller villages, smaller places, so that people can really use those, uh, this equipment in local communities. Um, so a few years ago, we started with uh, placing basis labs, so labs with like 
uh, the basic technology that we think should be in a lab with placing those in different municipalities. And right now we're at the point that we have a, what, a lab in, every, uh, in, a, in a library in every municipality of Twente. So the local communities all have like a, like a local lab. And they can use the, choose themselves how they use it, when they use it. Uh, they, their own staff teaches um, uh, the people who come in and, and organize the activities. Uh, they don't have to do it all by themselves. For example, if something is broken, they can bring it here and we fix it. Or um, the staff and volunteers from the local community can come here and learn how, uh, how the technologies work. So we teach them so that they can teach others. And um, so the lab is part of our lab and research team. Uh, there's like a team who works on the lab and uh, they also work on research. And I wanted to uh, just show something uh, like one of the research things that we do. So we're um, part of the public spaces um, network uh, platform, which is like a platform for um, um, making internet more accessible, more um, um, transparent. Um, and as a part of being uh, a part of the public spaces platform, we, for example, we went from X to Mastodon because Mastodon is a more um, a transparent platform than, uh, than X. So we did that and we also uh, joined the public spaces conference, which was really fun. Um, so uh, that's what we also do like in, uh, uh, like as a research uh, part of the lab. Um, so that's um, basically short and short, really quick, uh, how we uh, try to make uh, like the lab and equipment more accessible to the whole region and also uh, give makers the opportunity to, uh, to really develop their skills. So that's uh, what I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? This one, yeah. Is there like some application that you have to apply to, or is it like just enroll, or is it free? Yeah, CrossTech works with open calls. So every now and then there's like an open call where you can um, uh, apply to, and then uh, with like a, a committee, we choose which plans fit which um, organization. It's like a city uh, citywide project. So uh, we are one of the partners, and there's more cultural organizations who are part of the project. And um, yeah, we're, we're the partner who do like digital media, um, digital culture, maker culture. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, by the region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can apply through an open call. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, for the actual production of, um, of like those uh, productions, uh, we're full for the year, but we still have research uh, pro uh, projects that you can apply for, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, and, yeah, yeah, I will, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, you mentioned that you are part of the uh, Public uh, Spaces Network. Can you tell us something about uh, other networks like nationally that other collaborations that Tatum is part of? Yes, I can. We are, uh, so we're part of public spaces and we, um, uh, yeah, what kind of networks do you mean? Like on open science hardware or? I, I mean, are you mostly catering uh, like locally for Twente or are you also having collaborations with say Groningen or Amsterdam? Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, we have a really close collaboration with the WAG. So uh, WAG is also part of public spaces. So we work uh, together a lot with the WAG, and um, uh, uh, yeah. So and we're like a national, fu nationally funded organization. So that's part of our uh, whole. Um, how do you say it? Um, our whole vision that we also work nationally. Um, uh, how do I say it? We have like a national uh, um, attraction for like um, uh, artists. So we don't have only have a regional function for the artists, but we also take uh, uh, artists from outside of the Netherlands. Residencies, 
Yeah, we have residencies, yeah. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but I can tell you more about that later. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you have the scheme who is next up. <laughs>